What's up everybody? This is Cop Cops with my RH driven review and all I have to say is RH this thing was excellent. However, I just have to disagree with a lot of pe people who are RH fans on saying that this was a ten out of ten and such, especially you ECW hard you ECW especially ECW hardcore. Again, I'm still trying to get used to the webcam, that's why you didn't see my finger point or something. Anyway, I just don't, didn't like, I just didn't like some of the parts, but it was overall a great pay-per-view, a lot better than No Mercy, and I went to No Mercy. Mercy, actually. But anyway, I'm not talking about No Mercy, because that would be way too too late, even for me. So, so now, first we, we had the opener. Which was, I'm reading this all off the bat because Scatterbrain's still kind of a noob when it comes to ROH. Only about two or three months into it, I've been a fan of it. So, again, if I get mixed up or if I don't get the order mixed up, please feel free to comment and such. I'm sorry. Again, I'm in the beginning stages, but did buy it. Okay. First off, was a great opener. I, I agree with everybody on this. Great opener. Roderick Strong, Davey Richie's Rocky Romero versus Eric Stevens, Matt Cross, and Delirious. By the way, Delirious, you you have a fa you have a fan that you have a fan, you have a mark, you have a whatever. You're hilarious. I love you. Yeah. This thing just basically blew almost all of the openers I've seen out of most T V event most impacts and smackdowns really don't get raw because they don't get cable, but I do watch Impact a lot on Daily Motion, etc. Now, this is just kind of, not really a spot fest, but there were a lot of spots, so if you don't like spots, it was uh, definitely not your match, but overall, I thought it was fucking awesome. Everybody was just jumping around and flying, really reminded, wasn't really complete and totally chilly esque but it reminded me about it. Yes, and gained a little WWE reference due to the fact that I was saying, thinking we were Mysterio at the moment. But anyway, okay. I would definitely give it give it an, an A. Yes, I do letters, not stars or letters or nothing. I give it an A. A strong, solid A. Then, next, the next match was Matt Seidel and Claudio Castagnoli. I like, as far as if I remember correctly. Anyway, I like this match. Really loved it. Big guy, little guy. Something that I, something that I didn't really expect to see, especially when it was so. Next up, I is so far was Brett Albright and Pele Primo, as far as I know. And all I have to say is, <laughs> I love this match. You know, the squash match. Every fucking squash match should be like this one. It was just an enjoyable, funny squash match. That something that Goldberg 
sorry about that screensaver mess, mess up. But definitely Goldberg should have le learned from if if OH was with WCW or, or was along WCW at the time. Really like that. I would give it an overall. I would give it a D plus. But since before it, before it was a squash match, I'd give it the perf an A plus. It was the perfect squash match. Anyway, now then we have Mira Fuji against BJ Whitmer. Love this match. Wish it was wish it was longer, but they did do basically everything that I that Mira Fuji is one. Sick motherfucker! I just have to say that he's. I really like like how he can utilize the cravat, as a lot of the announcers said. Shiranui is just a sick finisher. Um, basically every time I see a cravat, I'm just like, Man, who you should do the RKO because Man Yorn. I don't like Man Yorn. I'll just leave it at that. I would give this one. Uh, I would give this match an A. Now then. The tag, as, now then, I think it was Jimmy Rave and uh, Morishima. Another great squash match, A+, plus, and also had Morishima, and also, Jimmy Rave, this is why you're an idiot. Again, I know everybody said it, but you are an idiot for leaving ROH. That said. That said, overall squash match, to get who maintains A+. Plus. Now then, tag team title match. Jay and Mark against Steen and Generico. I, I, for, I think for over ECW Hardcore's review for this, I thought he said ladder match for this, so I thought, so at first I thought it was, really, it was shit, but then I went back and I'm just like, oh, it's not, was it supposed to be a ladder match? That brings a lot more sense, then I watched more about it, and then I'm just like, Steen and Briscoe are good, but I'm just like, I like this match, but I can't give it a perfect rating as everybody has been saying this, because this, this is just for me, but I personally need a babyface in one of my in in my tag team matches. I'm sorry, but and as far as I can as far as I can see and have heard, both the Briscoes and Steen and Generico are heels. So I didn't really like that that concept. I also really hate hate Generico. I'm sorry for all you Generico fans. I don't really think he's that great. I really I don't think he did that great that great of a job. But when Kevin Steen was in there, I liked it. I loved it. Kevin Steen is great. I, I have to say that El Generico, he's generic. Like his name said, generic, and I don't like him. I think, I just don't like him. I just don't, didn't think he would. He worked in this match. I didn't like his concept, and I just didn't wish he was there. I would give this a B plus because of Generico, but overall a very high B plus because of Steen's work. Next up, main event. All I have to say is very overrated. For me, it was great wrestling, great work. However, it was way too fucking long. 30 minute main event. The most I can stand would be 20 minutes, 20 minutes the most. But this one, it was just pushing it. It was slow, very pure, it was very technical. I really liked a lot of the spots with Andrew McGinnis, I think, hitting his back. Really liked that. I also like the finish, the cow mutilation. Really like that move. However, I really hated how long and drawn out it went out. It was kind of boring, but not boring enough for it to hurt. Because I just wish it just carried, it just wasn't, was short, basically. I just wish it was shorter. That's all that, 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 that I didn't like about it. It was very overrated, however, I would give it an A. So of all my... Driven report would be an A to an A minus, definitely not a ten out of ten, but definitely worth worth twenty bucks to to, to buy. And again, I'm sorry for the lateness, but again, I just got the webcam, so peace.